Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kevin. East Cape, got another bad mamma jamma getting ready to roll out the door. We have two guys. The customer is actually filming me while we film. So, sir, walk forward. You're going to get ran over by a uh, twin engine 25. And uh, everybody, this <laughs> is the customer. He didn't want to be in the video, but now he's in the video. All right, here we go. We're going to start. Aluminum upgrade, spare hub. Swing tongue, it's got to fit in the garage under 20 feet all day long. Boom. He spared no expense to what he wanted and he definitely went top shelf. So we got the power pole move, the power pucks on the nose. And I've said this before, if you're uh, gonna mount on the nose of a boat, of a boat, power pucks is the way to go. Paul, the owner, the guy who came up with this, great idea. It's one of those things like, why didn't anybody think of it sooner? But sometimes it just takes the right person with the right mind. He made it happen. Got the stiffy. I believe this is the guide. And it's 23 or 24, which is what you want. You want more length so you can actually walk the pole. We have a piano hinge on the front. We have a oversized casting platform with the uh, storm gray sea deck to match the gray on gray theme of this boat. Then we have the center console jump seat gray cushions lighter again it gives the contrast you have the polished uh undergunnel rod holders the undergunnel c deck again with the storm gray just completes that look grab handle over the console huge simrad 12 inch what we all love and then you got the angled rod holders instead of having them straight out got them angled so the reels don't knock when you're running in a chop this gentleman's going to fish near shore inshore and yes, even offshore, because on good days, on advantage, you can go 15, 20, 30 miles out. I've done it, as long as you have another boat with you. Double thick cushions, uh, always helps out on the bumps in case you're running through some rough stuff. You have a tilt helm, and then you also have the, uh, the hook puller under the wheel, that classic touch that you used to see all the time back in the day in the Keys. Fold down backrest with a step. And then we have the peekaboo hatch, as we call it. So uh, when he's calling fish, he, he can open up the, uh, the area to get fish in or bait. and doesn't have to have anything jump in case he's live baiting for Monster Snook and Stewart uh, with the mullet. Dive ladder. Again, removable, engages. Great thing to have when he's doing the sandbar stuff with the family. Rod holders on either side welded, angled out, not in the way. V-Marine, black spools on the push pole clips, V-Marine third hand up top on the platform holder, the black oak all around directional light with a cup holder. I love cup holders and I love the directional light because it works out so well. Then at the back of the boat, bulletproof, 90 Suzuki, it's all you need. He wanted a flats boat that would act like a skiff. That's what the Vantage is guys. It's a great platform in the flats boat series because not many flat uh, flats boats are quiet, shallow, can take power from a 90 to a 175. So this is a bonefish tarpon slayer as well as freshwater and also serves as the, uh, the family function. Uh, you got the power pole blade on the back and the three in one transducer. Mag wheels on this trailer too. And above all, it's an East Cape. Gentleman could have gone anywhere. Um, like I said, he is close to home. Uh, it's nice when you have your canvas, your boat manufacturer, your trailer manufacturer, your welder, um, everything's home base. So uh, all you guys watching, here's another one going out the door. I know this family's uh, very excited, just like all of our customers, but a little personal side. Um, can't wait to see what adventures uh, he's going to get into. Y'all take care. Thank you for watching. Here's another one for 24. See ya.